Hello everybody, uh, this is uh, Sin City Preacher, uh, just call me Brother Luke, and uh, today I'm going to uh, collaborate on this video with Brother Frank, uh, his channel is called Nightverse, and I wrote a little skit, uh, Brother Frank is going to play the part of a work salvation heretic, and uh, I'm going to show you today how to checkmate a works uh, heretic in three easy moves, and this uh, little skit starts off at where I'm just out street preaching, and he hears me, and the conversation ensues. So we'll begin now. Uh, salvation is offered as a free gift through faith in Jesus Christ. Your, your message is wrong. Well, uh, faith alone won't save you. Well, we'll, we'll sit down and talk about this for a second, can you? You seem like uh, you know what you're talking about, so maybe you can answer some questions for me and help me out. Would you mind? Okay. 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 Uh, let me make some notes here because you're probably pretty knowledgeable, and maybe maybe I can learn something. Uh, okay. You said faith alone won't save me. So could you tell me then uh, what do we have to do well, to be saved? Well, James says faith without works is dead. Okay. James, faith without works is dead. Okay. Um, well, then that brings up the question: Then what what works? Does God re require of me? You gotta, you gotta stop sinning. Stop, you gotta obey the commandments. Obey, obey you gotta be the obedient and follow the commandments. All right. So, the work you're saying is required for my salvation is I gotta stop sinning, be obedient, and follow the commandments, right? Yes. Okay. Now, uh, I, I find the answers you give me here very interesting, and. Um, I don't know if you're aware of this, but the two questions that I asked you, those exact questions are in the Bible. And uh, the first question I asked you, what do I have to do to be saved? That was asked to the Apostle Paul. And the second question I asked you, when you said the works are required, I asked you, what works does God require of me? That exact question was asked to Jesus by the Jewish religious leaders. Were you aware of that? Uh, no, I wasn't. Well, do you want to see how your answers compare to the answers that Paul and Jesus gave to those same questions? Yeah. Okay. If we go to uh, uh, the book of Acts, the Apostle Paul was asked, What must I do to be saved? Now, remember it says your answer was, Faith without works is dead. But Paul's answer, see here, it says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Yeah. Now, the second question I asked you, um, oh, when you told me works are required, I said, well, what works does God require of me? And, and uh, uh, your answer was, as I wrote it down, I said, you've got to stop sinning, be obedient, and follow the commandments, right? Yes. Now, when Jesus was answered this, asked the same question, uh, and uh, he was asked this question, in John chapter 6, verse 28 and 29, the Jewish religious leaders asked him, he says, what shall we do that we might work the works of God? Same question I asked you. What works does God require of us? Look at what Jesus said. He says, this is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he hath sent. God sent Jesus Christ. He says, the work of God is to believe on Jesus Christ. Now, uh, now, will you admit that your answers to those two questions are different than the answers the Apostle Paul gave and that Jesus Christ himself gave? Uh, yeah. Your answers are not the same as theirs. All right, I, 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 here's another problem I have uh, with uh, the answers you gave me. It is... Um, I suspect, in fact, I'm, I'm certain that you you have not, I've never met you before, but I think it's safe to say, you have not lived up to the, the requirements that you are trying to impose on me and other people for salvation. Well, what do you mean? Well, remember, uh, when, I, when I asked you uh, what the work is required, you remember I wrote that down, I, it says, you're, you're required to be, uh, stop sinning, be obedient, and follow the commandments. Well, let me ask you, 
Have you completely stopped all your sinning? No, not completely. Have you been completely obedient and always followed all the, all the commandments? No. Not completely, have you? Well, you like the book of James. You quoted it earlier. So let's go to the book of James. And uh, I want you to explain a verse for me in James. Would you mind? Yeah, sure. sure. Okay. It says in James chapter 2, verse 10. See, it's written right here. It says, For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offended one point, he is guilty of all. What does that mean? Um, I don't have an answer. Hmm. Okay. Well, there are many verses in the Bible I could ask you to explain to me right now. I want to. I'd love to get your answer. But let's let's just uh, start with these two here. If you don't mind taking a minute and, and interpreting and explaining these verses to me, would you mind? Okay. Okay. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, it says, For by grace are ye saved through faith. What does that mean? It's telling me that all I have to do to be saved is believe. Okay, you're saved through faith. Now it says, And that not of yourselves, it's not of yourselves. What do you think that means? That means that I have nothing to do with it. And then it goes on to say, It is the gift of God. What does that mean? That means salvation is a gift. Salvation is a gift. And a gift is something that's offered freely to you, right? And, and then it says here, not of works. What's that mean? That means that me doing religious works have nothing to do with my salvation. Yeah, that's exactly what it means. So you told me earlier that Faith without works is dead, and that uh, that you've got to do religious works to get saved. But it says right here, not of works, but through faith. Now, here's one more one I want you to explain. It's Romans chapter 3, verse 27 and 28. It says, Where is boasting then? It is excluded by what law of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Now, please explain this part to me. Paul says, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. What does that mean? That means that salvation is by faith alone, without any religious works. Salvation is by faith alone. No work is required, right? I see that now. Okay. There's many other verses that we could go over that say the same thing. Yeah. That's good news. Yeah. I'm glad you understand. Now, my, I want to ask you, out there, in YouTube land, isn't this good news? And finally, now, do you understand salvation comes through faith alone, without any works required? All right. Brother, thank you for acting out this little skit with me.